I like this poem because my uncle Brendan flew several missions as a tail gunner in the back of a Lancaster bomber during the Second War. So I often think of him when uh, I'm reading this poem. But the other thing is that it very brilliantly describes uh, Irish people's attitude to the Second War. You know, uh, and in particular the First War. They had no real reason to hit uh, Germany. They had no real reason, certainly, to love England. And yet here they were caught in the middle of a, of a situation they couldn't get out of. What were they going to do? And th they made a lot of them, over 100,000 of them, made a very brave decision to go and fight uh, Imperial Germany. And in the Second World War, they did the same thing. They went and fought the fascism of Germany again. Uh, but it shows the poem beautifully illustrates uh, an Irish person's feeling towards uh, that and then very brilliantly in the poem, of course, he, he's very honest about the uh, the pilot. He says, you know, I really just wanted to fly, uh, which is a, a, a wonderful thing that he says at the end of it. So there's many, many things in the poem. I think it's a very deep poem. I think it's very beautiful. Personally, to me, it's a very beautiful poem. And uh, once again, it's Yeats being able to politically contextualise how it felt as an Irish person at that particular time, as a nascent republic in the world. I know that I shall meet my fate somewhere among the clouds above. Those that I fight, I do not hate. Those that I guard, I do not love. My country is Kiltartan Cross. My countrymen kill tartans poor. No likely end could bring them loss or leave them happier than before. Nor law, nor duty bade me fight, nor public men, nor cheering crowds. A lonely impulse of delight drove to this tumult in the clouds. I balanced all, brought all to mind. The years to come seemed waste of breath, a waste of breath, the years behind. In balance with this life, this death.